My name is Megan Williams and I am from England. My family call me Megs or Megsy, um, but that's about it. Just, yeah, cute little way for Megan. I used to work in a cafe when I was 14 and I wasn't very good at it at all. But it was like a small local hometown cafe. My sister was actually the manager, so I think that's how I got the job. Um, because I really wasn't any good. I just stayed in the back doing dishwashers. My favourite TV show of all time is something I still binge on and I'll never get sick of, which is Friends. Um, which me and my girlfriends always say we're living the Friends lifestyle because we all live down the same street in New York, so we all get coffee and, yeah, we're living Friends now. My mum's roast dinner. It's an English tradition you have on Sundays and... Yeah, if I could eat that every day, I would. The last place I traveled was to India. Um, I went on a little trip this summer um, working with a charity there and that was incredible, such a different culture. I like to collect little matchboxes from different restaurants I go to. It's also fun when I go to different countries because I, I have a little jar where I put them all in and that's quite a fun memorabilia place I've been. Probably be really excited if Rosie Huntington Whiteley followed me because she has always been an inspiration of mine, fellow English model, and I think she's super cool and beautiful. The post of mine that has the most likes was my Victoria's Secret show picture from last year. Um, always my Victoria's Secret photos get the most likes. Sadly, I think it's one with me and my dad for Father's Day, actually. When one when I was a baby, I guess it's not as relevant. I call my family because they always keep me calm and grounded and not being so crazy with the whole energy of New York City going into it. And what else do I do? I mean, I practice my walk at home in my underwear with a mirror. <laughs> I always wanted to work with children and that is something I always thought I would be doing. And I'm trying to do different things now as I can. Um, so something in the lines of working with children and helping them. Advice for aspiring models is to never give up. We deal with a lot of rejection because it's just the name of the game with our career, but you never know when your time's gonna come. And I've been modeling since I was 14, so it's been 10 years now, and you just keep going, keep going, and trying for your goals.